The keeper woke up to another beautiful day. Now it's time to get to work. He is extracting milk from the cow and filling the cans. Now he will deliver the cans off. Meanwhile there lived a poisonous snake in the farm surrounding. One day the snake observed the keeper extracting milk from the cow and decided that he would interfere. The keeper has again left to deliver the milk while the cow and its baby were alone. And the snake sneakily came and presented itself. The baby cow saw him and felt terrified. Oh no! Please leave us. You can't harm me. I can't help you with anything. You can help me by providing me with enough fresh milk. I'm gonna kill you if you do not allow me to consume the milk. Okay, you are allowed to consume milk. The cow has allowed the snake that to consume its milk. As usual the next day the keeper again came to extract milk from the cow and deliver them. But the keeper was only able to extract some amount of milk. The keeper is shocked and begins wondering what could have happened. Oh my! Later on he was only able to get only one can of milk. And he set to deliver them. Later on the snake again came to consume all the milk. The keeper doesn't know. When the keeper tried to extract milk from the cow not a single drop fell. What? Oh my! This is so abnormal. Why are you unable to extract milk at all? From the past few days? There was a snake who comes to drink milk every day. If I don't allow her, then it would kill me. Oh, yeah. The keeper now understood what to do. Later the keeper went and stood behind the bushes to observe the snake. When it came and left. Oh, yeah. The keeper has arranged a few farm animals to protect the cow. And they all hid somewhere or the other. The snake has come. What? And it panicked seeing the keeper. And when it tried to escape the remaining animals had come too, surrounding all the sides. Oh no! If you wish to live, then never come back here. The snake loves its life more than any cow milk. There lives a happy young calf with his parent cows. He loves his mother the most. They share great love. One day the mother cow and the calf set out for grazing. They were happily munching some grass. And the trouble awaits. A tiger is up to a hunt. His target is none other than the young calf. Oh no! The mother cow quickly came for the rescue. Listen to me, dear. Leave this place and go away quickly. 
the tiger tried attacking the calf again, but the mother cow sacrificed herself. The form of great love. What happened, son? A cunning tiger came and mom died what? rescuing me. The father cow quickly embraced the calf out of grief. The father cow comes to cheer up his son. Son, I know you love your mom so much, but don't punish your dad this way. The calf feels depressed by its mom's death and stays dull always. He always walks out of any conversation and comes and rests next to some lake and thinks of his mom. <coughs> Meanwhile, the father cow sees this from afar. I'll make my son happy again by giving him a mother. Soon the father cow comes home with a female cow to introduce the stepmother to his son. Look son, she is your mother from now and she will take a great care of you. Don't be sad son. I may not be your actual mother, but I'll take care of you like you're my own so talk to me. There the calf leaves the conversation again and escapes to the jungle premises. There he goes again. I hope you will bring him back to a normal kid. You might be starving. Come on, let's eat food or you might grow weak. Listen to mama. Soon as the stepmother cow left the calf again escaped to the jungle. The stepmom returned and saw the calf was missing. What? And quickly set out to find him. While walking she is looking in every direction. She finally found him. Meanwhile, trouble arises. The tiger is up to attack again. What? The stepmother cow quickly ran and yeeted the tiger away. He is now coming to attack again. But the father cow came for the rescue again. He yeeted the tiger off and the tiger feared and left. Thanks for saving me mom and dad. I am really sorry to trouble you both. The calf has accepted the cow to be his mom and they united as a family again. He got embraced and they will be leading a normal life again. A beautiful farm day with clear skies. Here comes the farm keeper on his superbike. It's time to look after the sheep. He opens the door and counts if each sheep is present or not. And all sheeps are there. Finally, there comes a heavy sheep. Who couldn't get out of the door due to its size? The sheep got out with utmost difficulty. Meanwhile, an evil eye fell upon them. Foxy is keeping an eye on them from behind the tree. Oh, yeah!
that the keeper catches Foxy. Cunning Foxy, if I throw this stone upon you, you will not have seven lives. Run from here. Foxy left and sheeps are still in a joyful mood. <laughs> the sheep is captivated by the flower and feels like going ahead and plucking it off. She proceeds. But the evil foxy returns out of sudden. Oh no! The other sheep notices and informs the keeper. He successfully injures the sheep and runs away while the keeper tries to shoot the foxy. The keeper runs after foxy. And out of fear, Foxy gave up the sheep. <laughs> the keep and sheep returned back to the yard safely. <laughs> Pleasant day for the horses at the farm there. And here's the caretaker. And it looks like he will ruin the day for them. He is going to transport loads till some destination. And he made four horses line up for it. They started going. The horses were able to go patiently until some distance. They have come across the slope and managed to climb half of the slope. The horses felt very exhausted climbing the remaining slope. <laughs> they successfully arrived at the destination and got rid of the load. Never have I ever felt this exhausted. We need to get rid of this man. We have to escape him or we may die due to the workload. All the horses agreed to the saying of one horse and planned to escape the farm. They successfully got rid of the caretaker. He was shocked to see an empty farm. Oh, look at these unfaithful horses. They could not even take load. And they are so useless. I should get a few cows. They will blindly follow me and be so unproblematic. Let's quickly get them. Soon the caretaker brought a few cows to the farm. He now arranged a cart to transport the load again. The cows are perfectly dragging the cart until the slope comes. The cows started to feel exhausted trying to climb all up.
but the cow somehow managed and succeeded to reach the destination. <sighs> then they got rid of the loaves. The cows are extremely exhausted and provided no water by the caretaker. This is absolutely cruel. We were close to death and we still managed to bring him the load here. That sick fella did not provide us water yet and he was hitting us back there. I think it's time to fix him now. Here the caretaker comes to trouble the cows again. and the cows will not tolerate him. They all surround him while swaying their horns. And the caretaker looks terrified. The cows begin eating him to one another. This continued until he was finally thrown away. Lesson taught.